In this video, I'm going to buy a literal painting from a thrift store near me, but that's not all. I will explain to you guys why I bought this painting and what it has to do with NFTs at the end of this video. But before we do that, I want to make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video and be sure to turn on all notifications for the Bohemians YouTube channel. Enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm in my room and we're about to go to a thrift store and buy painting. Anyways, I just want to say that I got about like $300 for my piggy bank into my wallet and I'm about to exit the house shortly after I get downstairs. After I got my money from the piggy bank, I head downstairs and got a bag so I could store the art in after I buy it. Then I opened the door and went outside. Um, hey guys, so now I'm walking in my neighborhood off to get a thrift store. I mean, off to go buy a painting from a thrift store. I think it should be alright. So anyways, yeah, this is basically my neighborhood. I know the thrift store is in there, and there's really not much to do around here, even though it's a, quite a neighborhood in New York City. Yep. My mom's probably not gonna kill me for this. There's the local McDonald's. Uh, there's some abandoned building. And uh, there's the gas station. Okay, that's just plain gross. I decided to walk to the thrift store even if it was a mile away. Originally, I was going to get my bike for this, but it was locked in the garage and I didn't have access to the garage keys. I even saw a cool mask shop on my way! But after a mile of walking, I finally arrived at my destination, the thrift store, where I'm going to buy my art for a purposeful cause. When I walked into the place, it was huge. So many cool and interesting collectibles they had. A lot of vintage uh, sports memorabilia there. Not to mention an awesome range of action figures still in package. But that was not the reason why I went there in the first place. My main initiative of this video was to buy a painting with my birthday money and explain what it has to do with NFTs at the end of this video. And well, there was really a lot of amazing and beautiful art. They are so unique and they look like they belong in a museum. I really love the way these artists put effort into their paintings. This just shows how amazing real artists can still be even in our current generation. There was even a giant painting that I really loved in the store. It looked like a woman. This definitely looked valuable to a shop. Definitely looks abstract and I really love it. This is another painting and I'm guessing it must be expensive like this too probably made by the same artist. Unfortunately, the painting costs 840 bucks, and I only packed like 300, so I couldn't afford it. So I decided to move on and look through the store for some more. I kept seeing even more awesome artwork above me, for which I couldn't reach. I kept searching until I finally found the perfect painting I decided to buy. I finally found it. Piece of art I've been looking for. This painting is perfect, and my favorite in the stir. Not only that, but it was affordable at just under $60 of my budget. I really love it, not because of how abstract and colorful this looks, but it relates to me on a whole other level. This is a reflection of me and what was supposed to be the friends I would make later on in the future, even if they are weird and probably imaginary. I call this one Cloudy and Friends, because the little white guy with the red antenna, whom I call Cloudy, is having the time of his life uh, with strange and unique new people who would eventually be his friends. I mean, just look at the little dude, he's happy! Hey guys, so we found the perfect art that we are going to buy. I have enough for it, and this one is $240. I really love this piece of artwork, and it looks a lot like uh, what my friends would supposed to be, and the people I've met over the years of being on the internet. It's pretty cool. WHAT HE SAID! So I decided to buy the painting and pay the kind lady 300 bucks for the painting. 300. You carry extra bags, don't you? We don't have any bags right now. Oh, no. um, okay then. 
Unfortunately, the painting wasn't big enough for my bag, and they didn't have any bigger ones to stir it in. So I went to the thrift store and finally bought the painting. Unfortunately, they did not have they did not have any bags, so I'm gonna have to carry this painting extra careful with caution. I know it probably doesn't look I know it probably doesn't look like the most safest way to do it possible, but trust me, it will definitely be worth it. So I had to carry it myself all the way home with one arm. Sorry, painting. But even if I had the simple task to carry the art without a bag, it was pretty difficult for me since the wind would try to blow the painting away from me, and I just held it tight. But even after a long journey back, I finally made it home with the painting still in my hand. I got up the steps, opened the door, went upstairs to my bedroom, and put the painting on my bed. Hey guys, Bohemia's here. Thanks for watching my video. I know I said that my intention was to buy a painting from a thrift store and inform you guys what it has to do with NFTs. And the point to why I bought this painting is that I want to show you guys how beautiful real art is and why you should prefer it over NFTs. Traditional art has been around for years, and sometimes it still holds value and beauty. In fact, I would rather prefer to buy a real painting over an NFT because you don't have to pay a crazy amount of money for an ugly, cringy, generically aesthetic looking picture of a monkey that can easily be screenshotted and saved for free. Honestly, Thrift store art is way more cheaper than NFTs, and you don't have to take up millions of wasted energy for it. Every day, thousands of electricity and carbon energy are lost to cryptocurrency mining. Considering how much GeForce graphics cards it takes up, instead of mining a household's annual energy bill for 12 minutes, you should go make natural art and do more better for the environment. Like, go plant a tree or something, please. I would also like to use this explanation as an example of how you should support your local artists by buying their paintings. A lot of hidden yet talented artists are scattered all over New York City, and some of them don't need to make their art as NFTs. You don't need to pay a million dollars for one lazy 8-bit avatar you can easily make on MS Paint. But you could look around and see artists who put in more effort than that. Even you could make art. Even if you're a great artist yourself, it's highly recommended that you shouldn't make NFTs out of it. And most importantly, for the love of God, please do not steal other people's creations and market them as NFTs. It's disrespectful to the artists and sets a valid example of plagiarism when you profit off someone else's work. Please do not buy NFTs. You should also support your local small business by buying their stuff too. This painting I bought was from a thrift store that sells really cool things. But thrift stores aren't the only stores that sell cool things. Your local convenience store sells cool food like Takis too. Even your local grocery store selling the spicy Korean ramen that you use in challenges and stupid mukbangs is good too. So yes, I think it's good to buy things from real stores because not only it benefits you, but it benefits the owners of them as well. So I guess that's it. The reasons why I bought a painting is that real art is more precious than NFTs. It's safer for the environment and you're supporting local artists and small businesses around. Don't buy NFTs, guys. Buying real art is better. Thank you for watching, guys. No harm was done to the art. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. If you want to be a total crypto bro and clown on me in the comments, then go ahead. I don't care. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't buy NFTs.